Ok, fellas, a quick video about an underpowered magnetron from a micro oven. It's underpowered because otherwise it would blast something like 600 watts or maybe more of microwaves onto you and probably cook you or especially your eyes, some say. And uh, this experiment isn't anyways safe uh, because we still have the micro oven transformer and it's a notorious killer, charged capacitor and mains voltage, etc. So uh, maybe in case you are not totally confident with the electronics and high voltage, maybe don't do this. To reduce the power on the magnetron, you just need to reduce the capacitor down to something like 10 or 20 nanofarads, not microfarads. And uh, this will let it output something like 20 watts or something with a slight peak of power, but uh, on the average way less anyways. Um, in this case instead, I'm using the original capacitor, but the uh, transformer is under a variac, so I can adjust the anode voltage. And the multiplier, instead of a negative voltage, produces a positive voltage that goes on the carcass of the magnetron, and instead it's the filament that is erted and it's powered steadily with a separate transformer uh, that uh, supplies uh, the free volts or kind. Okay, now the filament is hot. It requires just a couple of seconds to uh, reach uh, peak temperature. You can see some light uh, through the ceramic because it's uh, translucent. Let's turn on the light because otherwise we don't see a damn. Okay. We have here a field strength meter uh, set at uh, low sensitivity, it has uh, two levels, and a multimeter uh, in series with the negative of the magnetron that reads its current and its full scale 25 milliampers. Okay, now let's turn on the variac that is set at a low level. The magnetron needs uh, at least 4 kilovolts to operate because before that, below that, it doesn't do anything and it behaves like some kind of 4 kilovolts Zener diode, let's say. Anyways, let's crank up crank the variac and watch the field strength meter. Okay, it's triggering because of my smartphone here, because I'm recording with it. Let's increase the variac and watch both the field strength meter and multimeter. Okay, now it reads a bit of current. Okay, now it's literally at full scale at low sensitivity. Let's reach 10 milliampers of consumption. 10 milliampers uh, average times uh, 4 kilovolts is, uh, let's say, 40 watts of consumption and so something like uh, 30 watts of output power or maybe even less. Let's try with a uh, fluorescent tube from a small CFL. Okay, indeed it works. How could be not? And a small neon. Nice. And this is fairly safe. Okay. Okay, fellas, see you soon. And as a general rule, I suggest you to not do this kind of things anyways. Okay, goodbye.